So, Rio 2, the sequel to one of my favourite movies that Blue Sky made. I only watched it once as a kid in the cinemas, and I didn't like it. And now, that time has changed. It's still not good. In Rio 2, Blue and Jewel are living the best life in Rio de Janeiro, until on the news, Julio and Linda find Blue macaws in the Amazon. So Jewel, Blue, and their kids go there to see for themselves. In the meantime, Nigel follows Blue so he can have revenge on him for removing his ability to fly due to having his feathers removed in the last movie. Unfortunately, some evil loggers plans to destroy the rainforest. To start off, I love the Samba remix they did for the 20th Century Fox logo. It gives out the feeling of going to Rio, and gives you the thought in your mind that it could be a fun adventure with music you swear you want to dance to. I love Blue, however this time, he's the only good character I relate to. I just find it sad that he can't fit into his own kind for his family and the bird he loves. He constantly tries to put himself outside his comfort zone, but when he needs comfort, said bird he loves is not there for him. It's clear he deserved better than to be mistreated by his own kind. He's done everything he could to fit into his own species only to fail so many times. I don't think teaching kids they have to change who they are to fit in with others is a very good message. Sure, push yourself outside our comfort zone, but you should at least respect and value individualism. This wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for the biggest flaws of the movie. Jewel in this film is an absolute jerk. While Jewel was assertive and a free spirit in the first movie, she still learned something from Blue, and they had great chemistry with a satisfying payoff when the romance blossomed. Back then, they're supportive of each other, but now the moment she hears about the Amazon, and now she's forgotten about compromise. I'm happy that she finally found her family when she believed she lost everything, but her father is very disrespectful of Blue and his differences in the way he was raised. Doesn't she remember that Linda is his family too, just like the Amazon is her family? Not to mention she forgot about Linda and Tulio and how Tulio helped her near the end of the first movie. The story tends to juggle too much with the plot lines, most notably the subplots. Some are interesting, but it makes the film's roller coaster go all over the place. Nico and Pedro having auditions set up for an Amazonian party, Nigel's revenge, and the environmental message of the film. While it gets on some people's nerves, I like environmental messages. And to those people who don't, I say, PROTECT THE ENVIRONMENT OR I'LL KILL YOU! But anyways, it's not the subplots themselves that are bad, it's how they play out. Unlike in Ice Age 2, Rio 2 has too many potential storylines all happening at the same time, which makes the movie cluttered and unfocused. Why not expand these subplots into something different, like in a spin-off series, another movie, or even a short? On a more positive note, the animation is really beautiful. It's just as great as the first film. The forest sure looks sensational with its grand scale of trees and plants, making it exotic in the first movie. I also love the montage of the journey to the Amazons. It's well-timed, funny, and feels like a grand adventure is happening. There's also the songs, that have great choreography, and the lighting shows with spotlights that highlight each character. The supporting characters, unlike last time, are less interesting. Luis just makes two cameos, Roberto is just a typical fun bird that only has Bruno Mars in it for more money at the box office, and Eduardo is just a bad character overall. If people want to keep hating on Buck Cluck from Chicken Little, Eduardo is even worse. At first, he may seem like a fun type of father, as he starts out enthusiastic about being a grandfather, and for reuniting with Jewel, but because Blue is just a city bird, he just hates him for what he is. At first, he just takes Nico's bottle cap because of his stupid, no human objects rule, without recognizing that it's what makes him iconic and an individual. Then he just constantly picks on Blue for no reason, and flat out calls him a pet. I should not expect any more from a human's pet. Pet? Did you just call me a pet? For the record, I am not a pet. While I'm glad he grows to respect Blue at the end of the film, i rather he did so with some positive interactions to make the two become good friends. I would have rather they kept Mimi, Jules' aunt, being against Eduardo's hate for Blue as originally planned, instead of making Mimi a throwaway character. 
It's just a bad moral, as Phantom Strider put it best. For this weird muddled moral of only be yourself if it benefits everyone else. If it doesn't, you're an awful, self-centered person. Okay? Another saving grace in this movie is Nigel, for his charismatic attitude, and I found the shenanigans with Gabby the Poison Frog and George the Anteater to be quite entertaining. When I first saw the two in the trailers as a kid, I thought that in the movie, Nigel met these two in the Amazon to help assemble an Amazonian army to take out Blue, but I still like the three's antics. The romance that Gabby has with Nigel is not just believable, but also in a way you feel entertained by it. I'm glad they didn't take the Joker-Harley Quinn relationship route, because I'd be very uncomfortable if I saw it as a kid. Also, I really loved this moment. <laughs> It only works when I do it. Okay. Love ya! So overall, Rio 2 was quite a disappointment for me. It had so much potential and could have been so much better. And now Disney Plus is taking over Rio 3. If Blue Sky Studios didn't shut down and they did end up writing a Rio 3, it could have made up for Rio 2. This one was hard to rate because for all its cons, the awesome points almost made up for it. With that, I'm sorry, Blue Times 2. I give you... Rio 2, a 4 out of 10, with the Ribbon of Tolerance. Now stay tuned as we move away from the most disappointing movie to an excellent Blue Sky Studios film.